Why do I hate thee so, Simon Trowell? Well, let me count the ways I hate your face. You're an arrogant little shit who thinks he's it, and a smug little turd who is really quite absurd. You're smarmy and superior and think you're better than the rest, but you're just a baboon beating its chest. You're a borderline bully who's probably over the line. I think it's time you stopped. In fact, way past time. And am I being irrational and out of order? Or am I justified in thinking murder? Because you left the musical world a post-apocalyptic wasteland, populated by cockroaches and everything that's bland. You've turned mediocrity into an art form. If I wasn't so depressed, I might be impressed. You're the poison in the pie, the karaoke king. In fact, you remind me of Emperor Ming. You were given these powers to use for good or ill, but all you do is line your pockets and fill the charts with swill. You could have been a hero, a Chaz Chandler or Peter Grant, but instead you got greedy, which is why I wrote this rant. Now you're a canny manipulator, I'll give you that. You pull them strings like it's all old hat. But why do it like this, force feeding us piss? Why not fill your soul, that empty void, by finding us the next Led Zepp or Pink Floyd? But then, I guess you don't want a band that can think for themselves, because they might do something exciting that wouldn't benefit you as well. So why not take all that money and do the decent thing, and find us a band that can bloody well sing, and play their own instruments and write their own songs? A bunch of rock and roll rebels with drums and guitars are what we need, not another of these clones that you continue to breed. So I'm sorry if you think you're not, but you're a fucking tool, and I wish you'd stop polluting the musical gene pool.